Hello and thanks for watching this video of uh, Palo Alto Video Training Series. In this video we're going to talk about uh, quality of service and uh, policy-based forwarding. Quality, sir, quality of services is uh, obviously an important uh, feature of any network. Uh, you could uh, prioritize your traffic based on uh, your business requirement. Uh, you could uh, give some specific tra traffic more priority than, than the others and, and the firewall router or, or whatever your networking device is. Uh, they could uh, basically decide to, to send that traffic before they send other traffic or vice versa. Uh, we're not going to talk in details about quality of service because uh, it's, it's a big concept by itself, but we're going to talk um, only how to set up QoS and uh, also uh, PBF on Palo Alto firewalls. So let's get started. Here we log into our uh, firewall with our username and password. Go to uh, Policies tab. And uh, uh, we have our security policies created. We have our network address translation created. So basically, uh, on our uh, internal network, we do have internet access. So imagine that you want to uh, provide different access to uh, internal people, but you want to prioritize traffic and you want to say, uh, as an example, HTTP and HTTPS traffic are, uh, they have more priority than BitTorrent traffic. And uh, the way that you could do that is, is uh, with QoS. So how we do it, um, basically there is a QoS uh, section on your Palo Alto firewall. So you see by default there is nothing there, so you could just click on add and create a new rule. Just give it a name. Um, we call it QoS HTTP. Uh, say again source. If you want to specify any source address, uh, for example, you want to give some specific IP address or specific user a different priority than others, you can do that too. I uh, just want to leave it as any for now. Destination, again, outside. So again, you have the uh, capability of defining a destination address as well. So you can say that uh, I want to prioritize accessing to Microsoft services or, or Google services or whatever. Uh, applications, you could specify any application. I don't want to do anything with application right now. Just go to the services. I want to specify HTTP and HTTPS as my services. Just add DNS to it as well. So these are my services. So if you want to um, define any specific coding to tag your traffic in here as well, so you, you have the capability of doing that. So you could just define different tags, uh, QoS tags. You need to know about QoS to be able to do these tagging and stuff. Uh, but there are different priorities for different tags. It would even define custom codes and stuff as well. We just leave it as any, but, but there are a lot of in, uh, internet resources about QoS and QoS tagging and how they work. <laughs> a simple website, I did a quick search. This is a simple website, it just uh, uh, gives you like all the different tags and things like that. So. Uh, EF or, or expedited forwarding has more priority than a short forwarding has more priority than class selector and things like that. So, so you could, you could uh, play around with this uh, uh, QoS tagging a bit uh, if you want to. As I said, we leave it like that. We go to other settings and we have different classes in there. So class one to eight. 
So we just leave this as class one. So you can schedule it as well if you want to during a specific time. So you want, for example, to have this role only activated during the business hour if you want to. Uh, for our particular uh, test, we just leave it as it is. So class one has more uh, uh, priority than class two, than class three, and so on. So we just uh, create this. So now we have our first QoS rule, and it says uh, HTTP, HTTPS, and DNS. They have they are in class one. They have the most uh, priority. So we create the second one as an example. We just call it uh, uh, QoS torrent. And again, our source is going to be inside. Our destination is going to be outside. And now we, uh, with applications, we just uh, select BitTorrent. And uh, again, Torrent Sync as an example, so you could have different applications in there. Just leave the services and, and uh, tagging as it is, and we just leave this in class 8. So just with doing that, and we're going to commit the change that we've done, just with doing that, uh, Basically, you have created a simple QoS tag which gives your HTTP and HTTPS and DNS traffic more priority than your BitTorrent traffic, which is an important thing for uh, every uh, single organization. Having said that, uh, usually the best way and the best uh, Design for QoS is is to do the QoS on the edge. So you should start with doing the QoS tagging and QoS controls on the edge of your network, close to the workstations, close to your phones, and uh, keep it on the switch level and then the router level, firewall level, and, and so on. Um, this will only work on the firewall level. Um, but as I said, the best best practice is always to keep the QoS as much uh, close as possible to, to the source of the traffic. And it, it has to be all across the network as well. So it doesn't mean that you keep it on firewall only or keep it on switch only. You, you have to keep it um, across your network. Next thing I wanted to uh, cover on this uh, video is policy-based forwarding. Policy-based forwardings are quite helpful uh, when you want to route different traffic to different uh, uh, destinations or different different providers. Just give you a quick example on when could be useful. This is just a simple diagram of uh, having two service providers connected to your network. So you use uh, service provider one and service provider two for internet access and they both connected to your firewall. So you might have some traffic that you want to specifically route through service provider one. You might have some traffic you want to specifically route through service provider to uh, with basic routing protocol is is uh, a bit difficult to do so um, there is a concept of policy based forwarding on Palo Alto firewalls that you could go and say this type of traffic on my network I want to traffic I want to to route it to this gateway that type of traffic I want to route it to uh, the other gateway. Um, I remember where, where, where I used to work, we had a very um, high volume file transfer uh, kind of service. Uh, and uh, we wanted that to always go through a different link because um, if someone started to download or upload a file, because that, that uh, 
uh, service was really, really uh, strong. It could affect the rest of the users uh, from getting internet access and things like that. So there are there are different business scenarios so you can uh, decide how 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 to do it. Um, Again, policy-based forwarding is pretty simple, so you just uh, click on policy-based forwarding on the policies tab and click on add to create a new rule. Um, we just uh, create a sample one, uh, sample ABF, because uh, we don't really have that kind of scenario that we want to, to route traffic to different sources, we can't really uh, test it here, but but I can show you how it works. So we say, for example, if the traffic is from inside, and the traffic is from specific user, so you could even narrow it down to a user. So you could say, if it is my user on inside network trying to um, access again, let's say BitTorrent, right? some applications might not be available here but let's say try to access some uh, semantic um, or or if you want to you could say HTTP or HTTPS or create a specific service on, on a specific port number TCP UDP whatever 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 you want to do that's fine for destination IP address you could specify destination IP address or you could say any whatever so if uh, it's coming inside from this user or specify an IP address and going to uh, semantic system center forward this traffic to you could say instead of uh, our out, outband uh, interface send it to tunnel interface if you have a tunnel interface if you have a VPN this is and this is another example of how it could be useful you could say if there is any specific traffic um, and you have a VPN, side-to-side -side VPN setup, uh, you could specify the source and destination for that specific tunnel and say, if the traffic is like this, uh, rather than sending it to the outside interface, sending it, send it to the tunnel interface. Or if you have Ethernet 1 slash 3 here, which will be another service provider, you could specify Ethernet 1 slash 3 and say, uh, my next hub is going to be the other one, or even on, on the same interface, if uh, going back to design, even on, on the same interface, if I have a switch here and I have like two service providers with uh, uh, two IP addresses in the same range, I could still use the same uh, interface on Palo Alto Palo Alto, but say uh, my default, sorry, my default. Uh, IP address or default gateway is 192.168.137.1 I might have another one which is 192.168.137.2 and I could uh, just use the same interface and say 137.2 so if the traffic looks like this send it to the second interface rather than the first interface so as you can see you have a lot of flexibilities with policy based forwarding rules you could specify what IP address what username what traffic to be sent to what IP address and what destination specifically. So that's another fancy feature which is available uh, for you um, if, if you want to use it. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video uh, and I'll be with you on the next video. Thanks.